Ever wondered how your favourite brew came into existence? Let's journey back in time to the mythical origins of tea. Picture this. It's around 2737 BC and we're in ancient China. The legendary emperor Shen Nung, a scholar and herbalist, is boiling water beneath the shade of a wild tea bush. As the story goes, a gust of wind shakes the branches, causing a solitary leaf to drift down into his pot. Intrigued by the aroma emanating from the water, Shen Nung decides to take a sip. The taste? Refreshing, revitalizing. This serendipitous moment marked the birth of what would become the world's favorite brew. Though this tale might be steeped more in myth than in fact, it's a charming anecdote that serves as a testament to the enduring appeal of tea. So, that's how tea was serendipitously discovered, or so the legend goes. Now, from a chance discovery, let's see how tea began its journey across continents. In the beginning, tea was more of a remedy than a refreshment. Ancient Chinese healers brewed these leaves, believing in their power to cure ailments and promote health. For hundreds of years, it was a medicinal secret, a hushed whisper of wellness passed down generations. But then, something changed. During the Tang Dynasty, around the seventh century, tea transitioned from a health elixir to a popular beverage. People of all classes started to enjoy tea, not just for its healing properties, but for its taste and the comfort it brought. Tea houses sprung up, becoming social hubs where people gathered to chat, relax, and of course, drink tea. While tea was spreading across China, a group of Buddhist monks were about to play a crucial role in its journey. These monks, who traveled between China and Japan, carried more than just their faith, they carried tea seeds. Their aim was simple, to cultivate these seeds in the fertile soils of Japan, and thus, the first tea plants took root in Japanese soil. Initially, like in China, the Japanese used tea for medicinal purposes. But over time, it transformed into a beverage enjoyed by the nobility. The monks also developed the art of the tea ceremony, a ritual that became an integral part of Japanese culture. This ceremony, known as Chanoyu, is a blend of spirituality and aesthetics, where every movement is precise and every sip of tea is a moment of mindfulness. From a simple leaf, tea had become a symbol of hospitality, a medium of art, and a bridge between two cultures. It had journeyed from being a hidden health secret to a cherished beverage, from the hills of China to the heart of Japan. Thus, tea found its way to Japan, where it became an important part of their culture. Tea didn't just conquer the East, it set sail for the West too. As the aroma of tea began to waft across the world, it found its way into the hands of Dutch and Portuguese traders in the 16th century. These adventurous merchants, always on the hunt for new and exotic goods, quickly recognized the potential of this mysterious brew. The Dutch, ever the shrewd businessmen, were among the first to introduce tea to Europe. They imported it via their trading posts in the East Indies. And by the early 17th century, tea was being enjoyed in the finest homes in Amsterdam. The Portuguese, who had established a robust trade network with China, also played a pivotal role in bringing tea to Europe. They introduced it to the royal court where it was seen as a luxurious and exotic drink, but it was in Britain where tea truly found its second home. Initially, tea was a luxury item in Britain, affordable only to the aristocracy. It was seen as a fashionable drink, often consumed in the afternoon along with small meals. The British aristocracy's fondness for tea laid the foundation for what is now a quintessential British tradition, the afternoon tea. However, as the 17th century progressed, the price of tea began to fall. Tea gardens and coffee houses sprang up across the country, making the beverage accessible to all classes. The British East India Company, seeing the potential for profit, began to import tea in large quantities, further solidifying its popularity. And so it was that this humble leaf, first boiled in water by ancient Chinese emperors, had travelled across vast oceans and diverse cultures to find a new fan base. The traders' ships had not only carried tea, but also an integral part of Eastern culture that would soon be embraced and adapted by the West. Tea had now crossed oceans and was rapidly gaining popularity in the Western world. Tea wasn't just a beverage, it was at the heart of some major historical events. Our tale now takes us to the late 18th century where the love of tea brewed a storm in a teacup, quite literally. The Boston Tea Party, a political protest by the Sons of Liberty in Boston, 
a city in the New World of America, was a direct response to a monopoly on tea. This monopoly was held by the far-off British East India Company. The colonists, ever fond of their tea, were not too pleased when the British government decided to impose taxes on their favourite brew without providing them representation in the government. In December of 1773, to express their displeasure, they dumped an entire shipment of tea from the British East India Company into the Boston Harbour. The Boston Tea Party was a catalyst for the American Revolution, setting the stage for the birth of a new nation, proving that tea could indeed stir more than just sleepy senses. Across the ocean, in the heart of the old world, tea was once again causing a stir. This time, it was the Opium Wars in the mid-19th century between Britain and China. At the heart of the conflict was an imbalance in trade, particularly with tea. The British loved their tea, but China wanted silver, not goods, in exchange. To balance the trade, Britain began illegally importing opium into China, leading to widespread addiction and social issues. China's attempts to halt the opium trade resulted in two wars, both of which China lost, leading to the century of humiliation. The Opium Wars were a dark chapter in the history of tea, showing how the thirst for this humble beverage could lead to conflict and war. Tea, a humble beverage, had now become a symbol of rebellion and a cause of war. The history of tea is intertwined with the history of the world, and as we'll see in our next chapter, it continues to shape our societies in surprising ways. From wars and revolutions, let's now explore how tea became a global phenomenon in the modern era. As we journey through time, we find ourselves in the rolling hills of India and Sri Lanka. Here, the British, after losing access to Chinese tea, began mass production of tea in the mid-19th century. This shift not only changed the landscape, but also the socio-economic fabric of these regions. Meanwhile, the 20th century saw another revolution in the tea industry. One that was less bloody, but equally transformative. The invention of the humble tea bag. This unassuming little sachet, first created by accident by a tea merchant named Thomas Sullivan, forever changed how we consume tea. No longer did one need a teapot or a strainer. Tea was now ready to be brewed anytime, anywhere, democratizing the beverage even further. As we journey further into the modern era, we see a world where tea is more than just a drink. It's a cultural phenomenon. From the meditative matcha ceremonies of Japan to the spiced chai rituals of India, from the smoky allure of Russian caravan tea to the sweet mint teas of Morocco, each blend tells a story of its people and their traditions. In the Western world, afternoon tea became a symbol of sophistication and leisure, a tradition that continues to this day. And in recent years, we've seen the rise of bubble tea, a Taiwanese invention that has taken the world by storm, adding yet another chapter to the ongoing tale of tea. Today, tea is the second most consumed beverage in the world, after water. It's an industry worth billions, a testament to its enduring popularity. From its humble origins in ancient China to its ubiquitous presence in our modern world, tea's journey is as rich and diverse as the blends it has inspired. And thus, tea continues its journey, steeped in history and culture, warming cups and hearts around the world. From a chance discovery to a global phenomenon, the journey of tea is indeed fascinating. We've steeped ourselves in the rich history of this beloved brew, starting with its mythical origins in ancient China. We trace tea's journey as it brewed up a storm, crossing borders into Japan and the West. We've seen how it stirred up revolutions, from the Boston Tea Party to the Opium Wars, and how it served as a symbol of hospitality, culture and tradition across the globe. In the modern era, tea continues to be a celebrated beverage, its popularity undimmed by the passage of time. Today, its varieties and blends are as diverse as the cultures that embrace it. Each cup tells a story, each sip is a taste of history. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of tea. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating tales from history.